and blood too pouring out of them so I don't know if I might have hit a little far back hopefully it was a good shot go down and take a look at the arrow in a little bit I'm gonna give it a few minutes oh my first Buddy. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. oh, man. That is a bloody arrow. See some bubbles in the blood? It's a long shot. Okay. That's a good arrow. That's a nice arrow. Let's go look for this guy. All right, time to track this guy. His time's right there. He came over this way. We got blood, blood, blood. A good amount of blood. Okay, so we've got blood all the way up to here. Here. Now it's starting to rain. Blood here. There. But it is starting to rain now and it's gonna start washing this blood off of the trail. Hopefully I can find him soon here. Oh no. I've lost the blood trail. It's raining a bit. <sighs> Shoot. I gotta maybe do some circles. Let's see if I could get back on the trail here. Well, I start back from square one. Ugh. Lots of blood. It looks like a double lung. It was a clean pass through. The arrow looks good. Tons of blood on the arrow. It's dropped a ton of blood over there. And all the way along here. As you guys can see, it's like, well, the rain turned into like flurries now. It's starting to snow. So this is not good. Peter's on his way here come and help track so hopefully he gets here soon and hopefully we can find this thing man okay yes. Peter's here now so find he's gonna track. he's gonna come and help me track this thing as you guys can see it's like well it was raining earlier and now it turned into sleet. like sleet snow yeah. so hopefully we find this thing soon but blood wise that looked like a good shot yeah man. It was a, that's it was a lot sure of blood on shot. the arrow you could tell just by the blood and the bubbles inside of it that yeah. was a lung and it was a clean pass through so it was probably Super a double clean lung. pass through yeah, it was, uh, yeah, he was leaking blood. I'll show you the right. blood trail here right away, but. Yeah, it was a perfect broadside shot at 15 yards. It couldn't have been any better. Was that so, a stand one or what? Yeah, stand one right there. Yeah, so. And I watched him come up, come out here and I could still see him. And I seen him walking slowly. So he was like really slow yeah, walking this way, yeah. 
And you walk through here, you got blood here. A bunch of it is covered by the snow now, but here, some more yeah, blood right there. there. There's my other mock scrape. More blood here. Right, and it's starting to get more sparse now. Blood right there yeah. on the log. Yeah, there's some right here. Yeah, so see he was staggering, right? Yeah. He's going like this, sideways. Then you got some here. And then the last piece of blood was here. Okay. Here, and then a little there. drop right there. And then, uh, yeah, that's the last one. Walked up over here, can't find any up ahead. Maybe he went off into there. Yeah, and I walked in here and I couldn't find anything here. I walked in there and I couldn't find anything there. So I don't know where the freak it could have went. Well, after what, three hours? Some little time there, three hours some of tracking? Time, huh? I wouldn't, I mean, at, at some point it stopped being tracking and just. It just was kind of a guess and I kind of. Grid searching the whole yeah. place. And so we knew he wasn't anywhere down there because we searched there. Yeah. We knew we had a stand on the Northwest side that we've been using. So I figured, why not go up north and then come down and see if maybe he went too far and then he dropped up here somewhere and wouldn't you know it i walked around the corner i didn't actually see him at first i was looking at the tree stand over there in the bush oh somebody's got a tree stand <laughs> yeah. there too and then i walked around the corner and lo and behold let the man put his hands on his ear there he is oh yeah it's yeah, a little back. far back. A little, a little far, far back. back. But hey, it got the job done. It did and get the job done. And look at what's laying done. here, hey. but look at that. Oh, thank God we found him. Yes. Yeah, but now oh, the fun God. part of how do we get him out of here. Oh, we'll probably have to drive around to the other side again, yeah. kind of thing. Oh, so happy. All right, Found guys. It. Well, there we have it. After about three hours of tracking, well, I wouldn't even call it tracking at some point we lost a blood trail pretty early on and then we sort of just did a fan search we came around to the other side of the property just in case we were gonna bump them so we bump them back towards the stand and then uh, three hours later that is my 2022 buck right there a nice little seven pointer it looks like yeah nice little seven pointer last year was a nice little five pointer but with a bigger body this guy's a little smaller than the one last year but it's okay i'm happy with that and um not only is this my 2022 buck but this is my very first archery buck my very first big game bow kill at that and uh man what a harvest at that you know worked really hard setting that deer side up from scouting it and uh, setting up the stands, picking the right spot, making those mock scrapes. And that past year of just really diving into, you know, learning and studying deer behavior, their habitats, their food sources, their patterns, what they do and where they live and everything else. And um, to finally have that all come together, it just, man, it, it just feels really good. And I don't think that there's anything that could make me happier than that right now. You know, when I first shot him, he was 15 yards. And as you guys can see, he was 15 yard perfect broadside. But the excitement, I ended up hitting him a little bit far back. This is the exit wound that's a little bit lower. The entry wound is a little bit up here. And as you guys saw, we tracked that blood trail and then we lost that blood trail very early on. And then it started raining. And as you guys can see, it started snowing. The weather and the sky and the ground looks a lot different than what it looked like this morning <laughs> so yeah that made it really hard and uh, yeah I let the guys know that I had a deer down and Peter came out and helped me track them and uh, yeah I gave up my stand so I could come and help him <laughs> yeah. that's what a good friend does very thankful and feeling very blessed I'm gonna say a quick prayer for this guy real quick and there we go I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, hit that thumbs up button. It really supports us a lot. And uh, check out our other videos on the channel as well. And if you enjoy our other content, hit that subscribe button too. Stay tuned for more videos because Peter still got to get his buck. Dave still got to get his buck. And Chris still got to get his buck. So hopefully we got three more bucks going down. And we got two tags each. We got a doe tag and a buck tag. So stay tuned for some more videos, guys. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm so fast, so fast.
Okay, well now we gotta drag it out of here. <laughs> it's now all fun. Now. It's all fun and games getting to shoot, but now we gotta drag it 600 yards and across a swamp. <laughs> Stay tuned for that part too. <laughs>